Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Neil and in this channel I make videos and vlogs about living and studying in Europe and Germany. My Instagram handle is Eastern Shark. Make sure you follow me there. The handle is there in the description. And moving to the video, in this video I will be using my example to explain how you can often feel more lonely than others or less lonely than others and how do you exactly manage loneliness if you have not watched my first video on loneliness please do it the link will be there somewhere here and also in the description so loneliness is often a key problem faced by international students here in germany and this video is about my example why i often feel more lonely than other people and how i manage my loneliness so I think the most important point, especially within Indian students, why I feel more lonely than others is that when I talk to some students from India, they tell me that they are still watching Netflix, Amazon Prime and other OTT services. I have stopped watching all forms of OTT media. So I have a vacuum to fill. Yeah, a lot of unoccupied time due to which I feel lonely. Also, when I talk to a lot of other students, like my roommate is uh, Spanish and a lot of other people, German people as well, a lot of them are consuming Netflix like on a daily basis. I am not watching any OTT service. So that is one of the main reasons why I feel more lonely than others. Uh, the second reason is that when it comes to master's degree, you are normally specializing in a given area from your bachelor's. So technically your foundation is already ready. But what I am doing is I am basically switching. If you do not know, I studied uh, mechanical engineering for bachelor and for master, I am doing a material science degree, masters in material science. And a lot of people often have this false impression that materials is related to mechanical engineering. It's not. Material science is more related to physics and chemistry. It hardly has anything to do with mechanical engineering. So talking in terms of effort, I have to put in much more effort compared to a person who has done a material science bachelor from Germany or from Europe or even from India. And this can often happen with a lot of Indians as well, even if they do material science uh, in uh, India. It often becomes about industrial applications and how materials engineering is applied. There is not much of a scientific foundation what is being taught. But here in Germany, due to the nature of the German education system, the focus is on the concepts, on the basics. So even the students from India who are studying material science here and they have done bachelor in material science in in India back there they also face this gap due to which they have to put in more effort and this often is a reason for loneliness because you are trying to understand these things and you can't understand these things and you notice that the other people from Europe for example they are able to understand these things better because they had this approach even when they were learning for the bachelors and when you realize that you don't have those things yeah you have to put in much more effort this is often a factor for loneliness and then it's much more for me because i did not study material science for bachelor i am switching my area so the extra effort is big and that is often why i feel more lonely than others especially more lonely than other indian students uh, one more factor and this is somewhat interesting is that I live in a student dorm and I would say around 70% of people are Germans and what happens here is that I often do not go to the regular beer drinking, wine drinking, coffee drinking because you know they all talk in German and you know it's like I don't want them to speak English especially for me and you know all these things so that's a big thing but many Indian students they live in these shared flats and they somehow ensure that all of their roommates are Indian so for them it's chill like I know one group of students they live in a bungalow where 
there are around 14 or 15 people and almost every one of them is Indian. So they have a party time going on every day. It's very, very casual. You have Hindi, Marathi, Gujarati going on all around. So it's a very, very, it's a very, very, I would say, emotionally enriching experience in a way. But in my case, what happens is that I just have one flatmate. Uh, he is doing his bachelor and he is from Spain and we have a lot in common. We talk a lot about history and economics and politics and memes and whatnot. But in general, what happens is that I am not an, like I am somewhat fluent in German, but I can't have these deep conversations with people. So that's why I feel more lonely that I don't have anyone to talk to in my immediate vicinity, immediate surroundings. But here there is a opportunity cost that I don't have to pay. For example, I engage on a daily basis with people from different cultures. Like I have a person in my dorm who is from Romania. There is one person who is from Israel. There is one person who is uh, from some small Eastern European country. My roommate, as I said, is half Spanish and, ha and half from Panama. So he's like a mix of Spain and Panama. So it's like I'm getting to know various perspectives on everyday life conversations, everyday life topics. The cost of learning all these perspectives is some loneliness. But on the other hand, there are people who live only with Indians all the time. So they pay this opportunity cost that they will never get to know these additional perspectives. So that definitely is going to be a trade off. Yeah, it's like you you ended up feeling more lonely, but you've gained more understanding of these cultures. But the other thing would be you never felt lonely, but you missed out on this extra learning experience. So that's just some topics. Yeah, some factors for loneliness. So this was why I feel more lonely sometimes than other people. And maybe this example has been very useful for you that if you are planning to come here to Germany or, for, or to Europe in any European country for a master's or a bachelor, you can understand these things and why you may end up feeling lonely. And if you haven't watched my earlier video on loneliness, please do watch. The link is in the description. That video helps you with a few things that you can you can do a few actions that you can take to fight loneliness to manage loneliness so i hope that this video has been uh, all in all helpful it helped you to understand some part of student life in germany so like share comment and subscribe and do not forget to smash that bell icon those things said i will see you in the next video until then bye